is in so many different areas and, and on so many different issues on the international stage. Obviously, what the U.S. says, the positions we take are um, highly influential and certainly looked at by, by a great many other countries. One thing that the U.S. has been trying to do for the last couple of years in terms of addressing cyber policy issues in general, cybersecurity included, is to try to take sort of a leadership role in helping shape the world debate on how we think about these issues. So again, you see that reflected in the international strategy that the U.S. released. And as I said, the U.S. was the first country to re release anything like this, any sort of comprehensive view of what the various policy positions should be on the whole sort of range of, of cyber issues, and to essentially challenge other governments to think hard about these issues, um, and not just at the government level, but to engage definitely with private sector that owns most of the actual infrastructure, to engage with civil society, and to try to essentially have a you know, global discussion about how we reach consensus on on norms and positions on, in key areas. And so after doing that in May of 2011, in, in the subsequent year and a half, you've seen you know, probably 25 other countries likewise issue national strategies that spell out their view of what the future of the internet should look like, what the sort of the, the priorities and key policies are. 